Obviously about development in Davenport, but progress across the river in Rock Island was in the spotlight. Renaissance Rock Island hosted the 25th annual Hard Hat Awards Wednesday. It's a way every year to recognize various people, businesses, and other organizations that help to breathe new life into the city. Is Washington bound to testify at a public hearing this morning? The governor will argue against the EPA's decision to reduce the amount of ethanol in gasoline. There are 42 ethanol plants in Iowa that use whole corn plants to make ethanol. The governor says he's not just concerned about his state. He says the agriculture economy will take a huge hit if ethanol production is reduced. Time right now, 618 on your Thursday. Still ahead on Good Morning Quad Cities, season for giving. The Knox County woman that's helping stock the shelves for area families in need in today's edition of Pay It Forward. Thanks for joining us. Jim Mertens has the morning off. Well, as advertised, Mother Nature drops the hammer down and the temperatures <laughs> Starting to drop. Oh, it's a big change this morning weather wise as we start off our Thursday. So let's get the latest information from Chief Meteorologist James Zahara. He's back from having a couple days off. And it. better than ever. Yeah. <laughs> Snowball fight. I'm there. We are all there. <laughs> That's up in Duluth though. Yeah, quite the drive. <laughs> the uh, the University of Minnesota Duluth made good use of the uh, snow mounds on their campus. They held a massive snowball fight Wednesday. Several inches of snow fell, forcing school officials to cancel class. Students are hoping to uh, have another one if school is canceled again. <laughs> I had a couple of classes like that at Mizzou a couple of years ago where we had s classes canceled, but we didn't have a big old snowball, snowball fight. fight. Like